Hello everyone and welcome back to our Blind Let's Play Nirvana Initiative for the PS5. My name is Flash Burr, this is your story based gaming channel. Today, continue on with Ryuki Chapter 2. Uh, I want to know what's, what happened with this crazy scenario and hopefully we'll get some answers. So let's not waste any time. Let's just jump right in, shall we? Plan. It's confidential. Don't you know? The Earth rotates toward the east, so... Ah, this can't be happening. Who would do something like this? Now, I want you to consider the situation, and whatever you might be feeling, use it for your performance. Got it, Tama. And I hope you're all having a wonderful, fantastic day today. Hey, is it really necessary to act? Shut up! Don't contradict the director, Ryuki. It never ends well. Okay, here we go. Ready? Oh, the action dots. Action! There we go. I'm the one who killed Tokiko Shigure. I brought the body here for some reason. Now that I'm done here, I'm gonna leave. Terrible acting as usual. <laughs> Give me a break. Hey, we're, we're doing our best here. Okay. What did the culprit do first to escape? Well, there's that electromagnetic rail in the floor leading to the pond. It pulls the iron statue with magnetic force. The culprit probably used a remote control, but I can't find it, so... I'll try Herculean strength! It. Yes! Yes! Go, Ryuki, go! You can do it, buddy! Something I can't believe that happened. works, by the way. I really can't. It's because it touched the infrared laser from the Southwest statue. Okay, so the statue was moved so it would hit the laser. What did the culprit do next? That's exactly like the eyes, by the way. You remember the eyes in the Somnium, how they crisscrossed across the room? He must have also moved this statue with a remote. Okay, go. Um, the statue begins moving via the electromagnets. The culprit grins maniacally, his plan in motion. Now my Stop. I'm sorry, Tama. Um my big question is how did the killer know about the electromagnets and the statues and the escape route and all of that? Hmm? Can you not read the stage directions out loud? You're supposed to play the part of the culprit. But what's the point of don't talk back to the director! Don't make me throw a fucking ashtray at you! Oh no! I need to hurry, or someone's gonna see me! <laughs> hurry! Hurry! Move, move already! <laughs> Good, Ryuki. That's it! That's the performance I wanted to see! Oh, that's great. But like I said, the culprit probably had a remote. It's fine. This scene is where we show the screaming of the culprit's tortured heart in monologue. Or our tortured body as we move this giant statue. Never skip leg day, my friends. Need to take that own advice. <laughs> All right, this statue reacted to the laser too. And then we have the pink code. I see. So this is how it works. So I just need to enter the number from earlier, right? That is correct. Uh, 490-1095. 490-1095. There. By the way, uh, Alberto had a question about how this worked, and, um, the best way I can describe it is, instead of doing the crisscross X's on the pattern, uh, make columns. So, and make seven columns. Column one has number four. Column two has number three and three. Column three has number two zero two. Column four one 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 one. 
then 202, 33, and 5. So instead of drawing lines in a crisscross way, draw them up and down. And if you draw them up and down, you'll see that 4 stands alone, so it's 4, 3 and 3, um, and that's 9. And the reason you multiply is because of the crisscross pattern indicating multiplication. Uh, because X in math is often used as a multiplicative uh, device or a raised dot or parentheses. But you see X used a lot until you get to like algebra when X becomes a variable. Uh, but yeah, so if you just do that, that's how you get 4, 9, 0. Because 2 times 0 times 2 is um, 0. You could have added them up. I don't see why that wouldn't work. I just jumped to multiplication because of crisscross. So if you were to add them up, you wouldn't get a right answer. Uh, but then if you multiplied them, you would. So I guess, you know, it's just an extra step you would have to do. Uh, but if you put them all in columns, it, it's easier to read and therefore easier to figure out. I hope that helps. Thanks for following along with us, Alveda. Really good to have you here. We uh we did uh the first Somnium files together on the channel, and that was a lot of fun. Look. Along with uh Ashenda and Entra, um you guys being here it means a lot to me, as well as everyone else who's watching but may not have commented. Uh thank you for being here. Really do appreciate you guys. A hidden door. Well at least we know this passcode worked. Makes you wonder though, how did Tama know out of all those failed passcodes, which one would work? I wonder if. Hmm. Hold on, I'm gonna hold that it's thought. It's more than a hidden door. It's an elevator. I I wonder if instead of doing what they did, if they actually use that as a branch. So if you successfully decoded the password, you would go one branch. And if you did decode it, you would go in a different branch. I mean, you could have done it that way. It would have just been a little bit more uh, complicated to make the uh, the story work, I guess. See, there's a button pointing down next to the door. This is the highest floor of the building. It looks like this elevator is only for going down. Let's try pushing it. Now we know Terror's escape route. And the way he got in. Terror used this elevator to bring Tokiko's right half into the room. And he must have used the same method to get out. But how would he know about the that? The statue and Nanyapal X symbol must have been set up to return to their original positions automatically. Anyway. Let's we go down there. Yeah, yeah, I was just about to say it. We need to go down there. Yeah, I like it. We need to know where this elevator takes us out at. Part of me wants to tell Mamoru, hey, come with us. But he may be the killer. What is this place? Okay, when do we descend into the catacombs of hell? Or a church? It looks like we tunneled to the other side of the world. Ah, it sort of looks like an underground church, you know, dedicated to the Nanopole... Nanopole X? You mean we're underground? Well, nice. Yeah, more than 160 feet deep. Radio waves are completely cut off due to the depth. Bad place to get in trouble then. We can't connect to the network, so keep that in mind. Okay, maybe not a church, maybe a cult. A cult church. I estimate the depth by calculating the... Hold on, let me pause this for a minute. Anyway, let's start looking around. Okay, let's read it. I estimate the depth by calculating the acceleration and the time spent in the elevator. Okay, that's really smart, Tama. Maybe we'll find some sort of clue. Hey, 
Hey, there's a little guy. I totally forgot about you. Sorry about that. Uh, where should I fish? Um, and Somali waters, of course. That's gotta be a crazy. That's not a crazy? You might get hung upside downy. Oh, how is that not a crazy? I mean, come on. Uh, nothing against you if you're from Somalia. It's just, you know, the, the comment about there being uh, pirates out of the Somalian waters it is what I initially thought. A uh, thick pillar is holding up the ceiling. The elevator door leads up to the president's office. Sand is coming down from above. Looks like the ceiling has degraded. I hope it doesn't come down on us. Sand is coming down from the ceiling. Doesn't this look like... Hold up, hold up. Doesn't this almost look like the Somnium? That Mizuki went into Ryuki's mind? Hmm. A nice symbol here too. The Nanyuple X. There's a Nanupal X symbol here. Come on. Brony torches. Got a brazier. 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 Can never ever say that word. There's a lot of words I can't say. An undue dated. An uni dated. There's another word. I, I can't say that word. Uh, there's a box and there's a ritual platform as much as I want to know what's in the box Let's check the ritual platform first. This is kind of creepy. This is not kind of creepy. This is creepy Maybe it's a pedestal for performing some sort of ritual like offering a sacrifice That's not an ironing board. That's for sure. Tokiko. She said Nyes isn't a religious group But this is clearly it's definitely got some cold vibes going on exactly. Uh, that's what I said earlier it seems to be some sort of sacrificial pedestal. What is this box? I don't know. The jewel box from Urashima Tara? That one was at the bottom of the ocean. I um, don't get the reference there, sorry. But there's a beautiful princess here, right? I don't know what you're talking about either. Where? All the time. <laughs> I'll kick your ass! <laughs> it's a box, what could be inside? Um, someone will have to tell me about the reference. Uh, X-ray. Let's do it. What's this? What is that? It's mechanical. Some sort of device, maybe? Yeah, it's not the device that makes a body explode, is it? Can't you analyze it? Not from here, no. At the very least, it doesn't seem to be explosives or poison gas. I guess not. You mean it's safe to open? Probably. Probably. Great. How about you, uh, move over there and, like, open the box? Don't tell me you're going to open it. Well, what else are we gonna do, Tama? Yeah. Maybe you shouldn't. Maybe we should take it with us and have someone else open it in a secure area. Why not? Um, well, just a hunch. It should be fine. You said it's safe to open. Yeah, what's the worst that can happen? Probably shouldn't have said that. I did add probably. Still, we can't just not check it. You can't get the treasure unless you lay the dragon, huh? Um, s s never mind. There is so much wrong with that statement. <laughs> but yes, that's the idea. <laughs> All the dots. Hmm? What was that sound? Uh, all the... I hope that didn't kill us dots. Ryuki, a biological signal has been detected. They're somewhere close. Wh what the... What? Why is it coming across as a blue outline? Why do you look like that? What do you mean? Anyway, um, uh... Yeah, wh why is it blue? Hey, freeze!
What is this? What is going on here? At least the music is great. Always helps when you're totally confused. That way when you shake your head because you don't know what's going on, it looks like you're bobbing to the music. Ryuki, oh, look out! Coming down from above. Uh, look out! There's another other way, other way, other way, other way! Go, go, go! Um, Damn it. uh, up, down, uh, L, R, no, no, I press L. Ryuki. I press the left stick instead of the right stick. Oh, that was evil game. Ryuki. That was evil. That was, that was evil. Let's try it again. Hey, freeze. Well, at least we don't need to go back and load up the game to figure out why I'm to be failed at QTE. What is this? And, once again, the fast forward option in this game is absolutely incredible. Because we can easily zoom back to where we were. Uh, L, R, D. Ryuki! I think it was supposed to press them at the same time. Yep, 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 yep. I, I think it was supposed to press them all at the same time. My bad, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. I didn't realize it. Ryuki. Apparently, I don't know what my right is for my left. I'm sorry. How, how is it I can solve a puzzle in about 10 minutes, but I can't seem to do directional controls. There's another one. Then again, I am horrible at direction, so. All right, all right. R down and L1. Nice form there, Ryuki. Very nice. Hey, I said stop. Oh, this ain't good. What was that under us? I don't remember seeing that before. Come on, game. Farewell, Vyuki, chapter three, R2. R2, route two? Abyss headquarters, Wednesday, 9.15 a.m. Boss! Apologize for yesterday. Ryuki, we wouldn't need police if an apology solved everything. <sighs> I know you're doing your best on this investigation. Nevertheless, your screw up yesterday really cost us. The investigation hasn't been proceeding like we hoped. Was there a way I could have avoided that outcome somehow? I'll make up for it. Please give me another chance. <sighs> this reminds me of something. My daughter's been begging me not to decrease her allowance when she gets bad grades. Is a rug on the floor? Boss's desk. Files, papers, all that good stuff. Um, we're gonna look around her... We're gonna look around her office again because you never know what you're gonna find. And I think I actually missed something last time because Ashenda told me there is a trophy for examining everything in the office. I just don't know if you can examine everything at once or if you need to um advance the game. If only I could control you like an RC car. Sorry I missed that. If only I could control you like an RC car. Surprised I was able to read that that fast though. Hi Mario. Ryuki, let me give you some good advice. Squint your eyes and stand back six feet, and the mosaic will disappear. What kind of advice is that? I have no idea. It's a doll that looks like a police officer. Uh, there's a big catch flag on the wall. I feel like every time I try to push you in the right direction, you fold like those curtains. Come on, boss. Sober restaurant. Origami rings. 
Uh, star like I vowed for. Uh, I want to hang down from that plant. Pull it down, rip it apart, and throw it at the wall. That's how I feel inside anyway. Not that I'd act on it. A hanging plant. What if that's the thing we missed? Ribbon. Spin, 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 spin. It's kind of fun to repeat spin, spin, spin in my head over and over. Twirly, twirly. Aw, that sounds like um from the Atelier games. Or the Atelier games. Twirly, twirly. God, I love those games. Uh, there's air blowing in through the AC. Checking the uh, top section first this time. That feeling that's where I might have messed up. It's a chair. I wonder if boss would forgive me if I took her to a red light place. It's a doorway. Tch. Hopeful balloons are floating. Man, didn't like that balloon for some reason. I opened three bottles last night. I wanted to forget about something. Hopefully that something wasn't my mess up. Oh, the yes it was not. Wine balls on display. I'd like to bury you right about now. Wow. All oh, the man dots. I don't get a break. Tombstone with R.I.P. engraved in it. Right. Check the AC. It says single unit. We don't have one of those. Now that makes sense. There's a nonsensical poster on the wall. A big key. Matryoshka doll. Matryoshka doll. Another word I apparently can't say at all. Broken clock. It's like us, right? Twice a day. Ryuki, want me to cover you in plaster? All the dots. Boss is not being nice to us. You know we get a lot of abuse from Tama. How are you giving me a break here? We did the best we can. What did happen after? After it all, though. Wanna try putting that mask on? No, thank you. Pen it on display. Ryuki, how about I hang you up there? Yeesh. All the tell us how you really feel about us, dots. Actually, don't. Please don't. Christmas tree. Looks like you can't click on the umbrellas here. I mean, it's clearly umbrellas, but nothing about them. Wow, that's so cool. You're not gonna improve my mood like that. I can try. Want to take a bath together? That sounds like a trap, so no <laughs> thank you. <laughs> oh. Happy birthday. Must have used a birthday party long ago. like how the pee is made of a... A uh, parking sign. Is your head as empty as that pumpkin, Ryuki? All the dots. Bookshelf. This incident will stain your record more than spilled coffee. That's why I saw books. Maybe I just been a bookshelf though. Because I see paper and magazines. That's right, you have a coffee maker there, but you have a coffee maker here? How many coffee makers do you have? A tanuki may have been the better choice for the new investigator. Big tanuki. How'd you like it if I shoved that handle into your mouth for punishment? Wow. You've been taking lessons from Tama, or is Tama taking lessons from you? I prefer if you didn't. I'd like to turn you into a soccer ball. Volleyball, soccer ball. See, I, I think I've like examined everything here. But I haven't seen a trophy pop. So either I'm missing something. 
Or there's something that I can't examine yet. It's hard to tell. Or maybe you get a trophy for like examining a hundred things in the office um, throughout the game. I'm not really a trophy hunter, but I do like to try to get as much story as possible. And part of the story. I smacked the hell out of some symbols last night, like that monkey toy. Before I knew it, it was morning already. Yeah, part of getting story is clicking on things. Okay. All right, I'm. Pretty sure. What was that? Triangular ruler. Performance results. Damn boss. Uh, evaluation. So maybe not a trophy. Hey, we classed up. The costume to add to bonus: Mizuki outfit, Miyuki outfit, and cat ears. Classed up again: mermaid outfit and cat paws and tails. Inspect every object in boss's room. My room is in the same state. Oh, cool. So there was something for that. A uh, new folk anthem. Listen to Yuki's weird song. No idea where he got that from. Hmm. Sweet. We'll have to explore those. Uh, actually, we could probably explore those right now, can't we? We go to Tama's room? No. Uh, I'm not the one addressing. <laughs> it's fine. Dress me as you please. Absolutely. Earlier, boss was working wearing this. She's starting to lose it. I don't blame her. This is the face I make when Ryuki blows his nose with a 10,000 yen note. Yikes. This is how the four of them reacted when they found out Abyss is getting a finished sauna. <laughs> this makes me feel like summer is coming to an end. I would say the Itami. I don't know what that means. Costumes, achievement evaluation, increase, and class will be displayed, and bonus. Oh, yeah. she's got very cool hair. Yeah, looks good. I don't like her without the hat on, but it kind of does match. <laughs> you can have a costume with this category, and bonus menu. Will be displayed in bonus, so we probably have to go into the bonus menu to do that. Well, let's wait till the end of the episode to, uh, to explore these options, shall we? Hey, boss. She's in a bad mood. I thought you were a bit more capable than this, Ryuki. I mean, I got chewed out by my higher-ups, too. After work tonight, I'm going to my favorite host club and popping every champagne bottle in there. She's not happy. Uh, I want to show motivation, but let's do some other things first. About her daughter. Your daughter? I'm still not used to hearing that. Oh? Well, I guess it's true that I don't give off a maternal image. I haven't done anything motherly at all, really. My daughter just turned 18 last year, but she pretty much grew up all on her own. 18? She's older than I thought. <laughs> you wouldn't think it looking at this figure, huh? She's a grown woman now. She's capable of handling her business. Unlike a certain someone who gets overeager and screws up big time. <sighs> Any new information about the investigation? Nothing other than what you already know. Which isn't much. Oh, right. There is some news about the case. Uh-huh. It has an official name now. The Half-Body Serial Killings. Yeah, that sounds about right. But that's pretty long, so we've just been calling it the HB case. The HB case. Now you know how the media is. You don't solve this quick and they might end up calling you the half-brain investigator. Wow, that's really harsh. 
so you'd better start getting things done, Ryuki. All the dots. Well, let's go ahead and show motivation. But first, we'll play our game. <laughs> How deep do you like ocean? Um, five meters. That's got to be crazy, right? How is that loving? H How is that loving? It's only five meters deep. Oh, I, I keep choosing the loving answers and I'm not meaning to. Show motivation. It's all right now because I am here. Half might. Excuse me? What I'm trying to say is I'm motivated. So please let me stay on this case. Yeah, and I'm not at all mentally disturbed. No, I am in complete sane, sane of mind. I'll solve this case no matter what it takes. In fact, I'm the only one who can. <sighs> Look, you realize it was that kind of gung-ho attitude that led you to making that mistake yesterday, right? I understand you want to distinguish yourself, but you're biting off more than you can chew. All the dots. But I can't just stop now. I should be able to handle this better than anyone. Ryuki, boss is right. You're getting too impatient. Your life isn't over because of one little slip up. More importantly, you need to accept your faults and learn from mistakes. All the dots. I understand your enthusiasm, Ryuki. So I'm giving you a chance to redeem yourself. Yes. I want you to continue investigating this case. Thanks, boss. Th thank you. But I need you to follow orders from above. Orders from above? What do you mean? It's official. Kuruto Ryuki, you're being demoted to a police officer. Ouch. All the... Oof, dot. What? This is for yesterday's fiasco. Wait, you mean like a normal cop? That's terrible. That's way too harsh. However, I'll give you three days. If you can resolve the case within that time, I'll take back your punishment and you won't be demoted. Three days? Ryuki, we should look at this in a positive light. We can continue the investigation, and if we can solve it in three days, you can avoid demotion. How do we solve something like this in three days? It's impossible. Ah, oh, come on, Ryuki. Let, let's... I have my doubts too, but let, let's... Let, let's do the best we can. We barely made any progress. How can I solve the case in three days? Ryuki... Demoted? Me? I'd rather be a bum on the street than a disgraced cop. Ryuki! All the doubts. Oh, and... The communication system still hasn't been fixed. So any data Tama obtains can't be uploaded to the cloud yet. So just like I said before, Tama's data will be lost if her body is damaged. Be careful. Oh, that's probably why she wouldn't be a good choice to open up that box earlier. My bad, Tama. I forgot about that. Didn't mean to put you in danger. You seem completely out of it. Ryuki. I'm sorry, but someone just told me that I may lose my uh, career. I would be pretty out of it, too. Doesn't help, boss. It could be a shrine. Wednesday, 1 o'clock. Are you okay, Ryuki? I ain't been better. Yeah. I think the scenery helped me calm down a bit. But to think... Demoted. Me. You still have three days. If you can solve the case by then... It's impossible. All the dots. I can't believe I was told this today, of all days. All the questionable dots? Why, what's today? Thomas standing there, or so it seems. Today was the day I lost my other half. Your... Pulled out a book and watched from my pocket. I had a younger twin brother. Really? A strong sense of justice. Whenever he saw evil, he would stand up to it, face it head on, no matter what. That's just the kind of guy he was. Uh, hence your fascination with uh, All Might? His dream was to become a detective and help bring all the dangerous criminals in Japan to justice. My brother and I were really close, and we hung out all the time. 
Oh, I'm sorry, like Yuki. He was another me. Oh. But on that day, six years ago. Wait, so something happened six years ago with Ryuki? And six years from now, something will happen again? Th th this this can't be a coincidence. My brother and I were in the city, and we happened to see a wanted criminal. I called the police right away, but the culprit tried to flee on a big trailer truck. He was about to get away, so my brother tried to stop him, and he ended up in front of it, and... All the dots. He got run over. Oh. I'm sorry, Yuki. Crushed half his body. Half his body? This is the watch he was wearing. His time has been frozen since. And I lost my other half. My brother died six years ago, on February 13th. Today was the day. All the dots. But I guess there's no point in me telling you all this. You already know my entire history. I hate that criminal. If I can press it. There we go. I hate the criminal that killed my brother. I wish I could catch him and rip him to pieces. And not just him. I hate them all. All the evil in this world. I hate it all. Careful. Words like that are... Can lead you down dark paths, my friend. Then... Are you really going to give up now? If you give up, the evil wins. All oh, the docs. Miyuki, isn't there something you should be doing for your brother? Think about it. Yeah, you're right, Tama. Thanks for reminding me of my promise to him. I'll become a hero of justice. That's why I decided to carry on his dream and be a police officer. If I fall into the bottom, I just need to crawl my way back up. There you go. I can't let it get to me now. When I became a sinker, the reason I became a sinker at Abyss was so I could encounter the more vicious criminals. The foul, immoral kind that evade the law. Sinkers dig deep into their hearts and make them pay. That's my idea of a hero. I lost something of mine in order to become a sinker. One of my eyes. I had to extract my eye to become a sinker. So you could transplant an AI ball. Me the surgery was last summer. Right after I was assigned to Abyss. So I think I missed that. So you could transplant an AI ball, me. Yep. Yes, so you and I have known each other for about half a year now. I've lost many things along the way. But you gained Thanks a lot. To you going into my left eye. I feel like a lot of that emptiness has been filled. Miyuki. Tama, as long as you're with me, I can keep going. No, I have to keep going. For my brother, I'm going to catch the HB killer. Yeah. Okay. Then it's time to pull myself together and get back to the investigation. So, got any new intel? What? I'm sorry. Do you have any new information for me, please, ma'am? <laughs> yes, I do. Yeah, that's right. Treat, treat Tom with respect. I looked into Jikara Horidori some more and came across something fishy. Oh-ho! Uh -huh. Also, I found something interesting about Shoma. Do tell. Uh, what is it by the- Yeah, let's start with Shoma first. The location indicated in the hidden message in Bats 490 was a research institute. That's what Shoma said, right? Yeah. But it actually wasn't Horidori Institute. What was it? I read through a ton of speculation threads online, and none of them mentioned Horidori Institute. Then where was it, really? I don't know. All I know for sure is it wasn't Horidori Institute. Then that means Shoma lied. I have to talk to him. Where's Shoma now? I don't know. It looks like he turned his smartphone off. But we do have a lead. Remember what Komeiji said? Yes, he really loves this Ferris wheel, too. He's almost in middle school, and he still comes here by himself all the time. Ferris wheel? The one on the rooftop amusement park at Misaton. Uh, about Chikara. Chikara was doing some dubious research in the past. His current research is pretty dubious, too. Rewriting DNA to achieve immortality. It was even more questionable than that. 
Rumors say there were even human experiments involved. Oh. Human experiments? Anyway, word moves fast, and the research institute was temporarily shut down. This happened nine years ago. During that time, Chikara went missing for a bit to avoid being investigated. But what about the current institute? It was reopened after things had settled down. Of course, that required a massive amount of funds, which was provided by Richie Chieda. He's Kizuna Chieda's father. Oh! Hold on, let me, uh, let me go back there. Um... Human experiments involved. Research institute was temporarily shut down. Chikara went missing for a bit to avoid being investigated. And it was reopened by Kizzy's father. So Kizuna's father funded Chikara's research. I feel like I should probably write that down. So Kizzy's dad funded Chikara's research. Who is Richi Chida? Richi Chida is an extremely wealthy investor. He's rich enough to be on the list of the world's most wealthy people. He's involved in a wide range of business ventures and holds many different titles. Investor, philanthropist, the founder of the Chieda Foundation, a university professor emeritus, a national goodwill ambassador. And after all that, he also became the chairman of a social welfare corporation, Iowan. Iowan? It's an orphanage. Seems that's where he is now. Seems like a pretty good guy. Well? Wait. Before we go, you have a call from Iris. Oh, Ryuki? Yeah, what's up? There's something I wanted to tell you about the case. What is it? Well, I'm sorry. Recording is about to start, so I can't really get into it right now. Would you be able to visit Lemnusgate later? Just don't die before then, would you? Lemnusgate, the talent agency Iris belongs I know that sounds horrible, it's just... Yeah, please, be careful. The building also has a small recording studio. Alright, I'll see you there later. Every single time we go to meet someone somewhere, they end up only half showing up. Okay, thank you! Our destinations are decided for now, but... Nyoen, Nisatan, and the third is Lemnusgate. We should go visit the kid first. There's one more place I'd like to go. Marble in Golden Yokocho. Uh, please tell me you're not going to start drinking. Ah, Mama the Informant. Oh, yeah, definitely. Hey, Mama, what's up? You suspect she might know something. That's right. Then let's get going. Yeah, let's go. Okay, um, I, like I said, I want to go to, um, I know it's C. Is it the department store Misatan? Is that where the kid is? It's not the garden, is it? How is it you forget these things that fast, probably this bird? Uh, oh well, we'll just go top to bottom, right? That usually works. Top to bottom, Iowan Garden. Ah, oh, my brain sometimes just a scrambled mess of of messy mess things. I I don't know where I'm going with this. Iowan Garden, yeah, th that's where we're going. So, huh? Kizzy's here. Ryuki, why are you here? And Mizuki's here. What's up? To question people for the investigation. Why are you two here? Kizzy comes here to play with the kids sometimes. She really loves kids. Aww. What a good person. Yes, I find it quite soothing. And it energizes me. 
I'm just tagging along. That makes sense. Mizuki could probably fit in with the kids pretty good. I feel like I just got insulted. <laughs> Mind if I kick your ass? <laughs> <laughs> Vixis is quite popular with the children here. She played with them often when she was still living with Mr. Date as well. You see, that was an insult. That was a compliment. Alright, uh, let's look around first. Any... Wow, there is nothing. Look at that. Nothing around. Normally you can click on the trees or the skyline or something. The jungle gym. Slide. Pretty cool castle there. See, that's what I was expecting. The trees. Uh, Ayoin's dormitory. What? Uh... Pansies are in bloom. Okay. Don't see anything else there. It swings back and forth on a swing. Got some playground steps. Kids playing uh, soccer in the background or football, depending on where you live. We call it soccer here, so. Seesaws? I see seesaws. Always a fun sentence to say. Uh, talk to Mizuki first. It's Mizuki. She's looking around curiously. I can't even begin to imagine her taking care of children. Ah, oh, she'd be great with that. But she'll kick me if I say that, so I'll keep it to myself. Oh, I mean... so you wanna get kicked. <laughs> she is really mature. I think she would be great with kids. Your thoughts are written all over your face. Like, she would be the type that wouldn't let kids do stupid things, but at the same time, have the ability to connect with them and, um... And... and Make it so that they were having fun. You know? Uh, should you be at school? Wow, that's condescending. Oh well, let's go with it. Left is always right. School's closed because of the flu. Really? We won't have classes for a while. Then aren't you supposed to stay at home? A certain freeloader is at home all the time because he's on vacation. It was so annoying. I had to get outside. I don't blame you. She must mean Mr. Date. So, is there a pandemic broken out here? Young girls have wills of their own. What are you looking at? Oh, nothing. Being here takes me back. It's How are you? Right now, because I am here. Half might. Well, what? <laughs> you just seemed kind of quiet, so I thought maybe you weren't feeling well. But I'm always like this. So, now that you mention it, I guess my old leg wound is bothering me a bit. All the dots. Wait, where are you looking, perv? Huh? <laughs> you brought it up. <laughs> All the dots. By the way, is that a bullet wound? Besides, you're 12, Mizuki. We don't have any thoughts of you other than just being a really awesome uh, kid. Yeah. Doesn't it hurt? No. Not really. It's from when I got shot by the new Cyclops killer. But I think the pain I felt inside was worse. Now I'll be scarred forever because of that bastard. Don't let don't let him define you. Please. Mizuki, you're 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 you got such a good heart. Don't don't let that scar you. Hi, Kizzy. It's Kazuna. She has a gentle smile on her face. Uh why do you call Mizuki a big sis? Uh, we did not get much of a chance to speak yesterday. For various reasons, I have been living with another girl since I was nine years old. Another girl? Not your relative. No, we were not related by blood. We were the same age, but I referred to her as Big Sis. She was so beautiful, collected, and dependable. She was the spitting image of an older sister. There is something about Mizuki that reminds me of her. Hmm, I see. I still think it's kind of weird, though, to call someone who is six years younger than you, big sis. Maybe that's just me. I is anyone else think that's a little bit strange? Beautiful and collected, huh? Why does that look in your eyes offend me so much right now? She is very collected, but at the same time, she's still six years younger than you, Kizuna. And it's not like you're 30 and she's 24. You're 18 and she's 12. Is she not with you anymore? When she turned 15, she was adopted. So, we do not live together any longer. Why was she adopted? 
so is she adopted by her dad um this uh chiaki character and did he not adopt her sister i mean that happens i know in adoptions because i have a family member who's adopted and adoptions and it happened with her too because with her uh her siblings were adopted by someone else and she was adopted by our family uh thankfully you know they're still able to keep in contact today which is great but i do know that sometimes families can get split up hold that thought What hotspot would you like to go to? Well, it doesn't matter because it seems like no matter what I pick, I'm going to get loving. So let's go to an old battlefield because that doesn't seem like loving. Hey, we're brave. I'm going to make sure it so scary. I'm all just so -y. I became an adult -y. Thanks for talking so much. Okay, so, well, that's at least different from data -y. I mean, that that's an improvement, right? We got something new. Uh, you're close with Miss Date, huh? Indeed. We have been quite close. Some time ago, when I nearly got in trouble with some delinquents in town, Mr. Date saved me. Since then, I have been showing my gratitude with home-cooked meals. Or booking a hotel room for him if he is unable to go home for whatever reason. Like when we got in a big fight and I kicked him out. As we continue to interact, we have come to form a sort of mutually beneficial relationship. You must like Mr. Date, Kizuna. Yes, but merely as a friend. I I I keep calling it Kizuna. It's Kizuna. Kizzy, not Kizzy. She was pretty direct about it. Yep. That old vibrating bed of a man would never be a viable romantic candidate. Okay. So uh, what is it you wish to discuss? I, I think it's just to uh, discuss everything with Kizzy. Kizzy. F father Hit it when that happens. And who is this? Mr. Ryuki from the police. He is investigating the HB case. I see. It's a pleasure to meet you. My name is Kuruto Ryuki from the Metropolitan Police Department. May I ask you some questions? That's fine, but I don't have much time. I would appreciate it if you're quick about it. All right, well, let's talk to, well, let's first look at these um, young ladies. Uh, it's Kizune, she's looking at Mr. Chieda with concern. And Mizuki's just hanging out. Uh, Richi Chieda. It's Kizune's father, Richi Chieda. Uh, you're Mr. Richi Chieda, I assume. Indeed I am. An investor and founder of the Chieda Foundation. You're also the chief director of Iowan and a major shareholder of Horadori Institute of Genetics, is that right? And all of that has kept me quite busy. So, you already know all that about me. What more do you want me to say? <sighs> this guy's a piece of work. He obviously doesn't respect us. I mean, he is one of the wealthiest people on Earth. A police officer is probably like an aunt to him. Yeah, it's kind of what we dealt with in the uh, last game, isn't it? Uh, do you know about the case? Of course I know. One of the victims was from the research institute I invest in. I suffered heavy losses because of it. It was quite the aggravating incident. As a citizen, I would like the police to resolve this problem as quickly as possible. Before they waste any more of our taxes, that is. Ugh. Uh, let's see. Um, hmm. Do you have an alibi? What were you doing two days ago? February 11th, around 8 p.m. And on February 9th at 6 a.m. What is that supposed to be? Confirming my alibi? Yes, well, it's only a formality. <sighs> I see the police have no problem wasting people's time. Well, fine. Two days ago, I was having dinner with the Federation of Economic Organizations in Ginza. I was on a business trip on the 9th, and I stayed at a hotel in Kyoto. Tama? I just checked. He's telling the truth. Thanks, Tama. He was spotted on surveillance cameras in each location. Uh, about Jin. Jin Furaway. You mean the first victim? I do. Of course I know of him. In fact, anyone involved in finance couldn't avoid knowing him. Were you close with him at all? Not particularly. I checked. 
He and Jen had practically no contact with each other. Uh, about Takiko. Who was that? The president of Nice Japan. Nice? I'm not familiar. I've never even heard of it. Uh, Tom, are you doing that body thing where you check to see if someone lies? Because I'd kind of like to know if he's lying or not. About your relationship with Chikara. Well, he is the director of the research institute I'm funding. Or maybe I should say was. Either way, that was the extent of our relationship. He was quite, well, an eccentric individual. And I only invested in his work. I don't care what his personality was like. It doesn't concern me as long as it doesn't affect his job. Was there any work-related trouble? Not at all. You seem to be searching for a motive for me to kill Chikara. I'm just looking for any motive, to be honest. However, I gain nothing from his death. I have suffered nothing but losses because of this incident. I believe him, too. In other words, I am a victim as well. Uh, I... Hmm. And you suspect me of all people. The police in this country continue to prove their own uselessness. Seriously, what is up with this guy? Yeah, that's how I feel too. It's like, he, he exudes a personality that says, I'm so rich that if anything bad happens, um, I become a victim of it and I was wronged by it. So you need to do your job to protect me better. Kind of, okay, that doesn't kind of annoy me. It annoys me a lot. If only he didn't have so much authority something on him and book him. I don't like that either, Tama. I believe in following justice. And right now we don't have anything to pin on him. And he has an alibi that checks out. Well, hold on now. Uh, Bachikara. I understand you are the majority shareholder of Horidori Institute. As the de facto owner of the Research Institute, I'm sure you must know of its origins and insider information. What are you trying to say? I explained the information about Chikara that Tama had attained. About the rumors of human experiments and that his research facility was forced to shut down nine years nine years ago. Along with the fact that Chikara disappeared in order to avoid being investigated. And that the current research institute was built after the heat from that incident had settled down. Did you know all of this? I did. You provided the capital required to rebuild the research institute, did you not? Yes. Uh, but why did you decide to fund it? The gene therapy research that was being led by Chikara. That research had a great deal of value and potential. Even with all the advancements in this day and age, there are many people who are still suffering from incurable diseases. Not to mention all of the children who can't live a normal life due to the illnesses they were born with. I have seen the suffering of so many people, precious to me. Chikara's research had the potential to help all of those people. It brought hope to humanity itself. It's certainly true that his personality and past weren't without issues, and I won't deny that the research faced criticism due to its radical nature. Still, if it can help alleviate the suffering of so many people, I wanted to put my support behind it. In other words, I invested in the future that research institute could bring us. All Tom, the dots. Is there anyone in Mr. Chieda's family that has an incurable disease? No, and of course, he doesn't have one himself either. Hmm. His only daughter is completely healthy. And his wife, Kizuna's mother, passed away long ago. Seems like a nice guy who's got an ego the size of a mountain. Mm hmm. What is it? No, it's just... Is this your first time here? Kizzy's invited me a bunch of times before. Big Sis is very popular among the children, and she is great at keeping them entertained. I... I'm not as good as you, Kizzy. All the dots. I see. Feel free to come back anytime. Any friend of Kizuna is welcome here. Ryuki, I just looked into Iowan. I came across some interesting information. Uh-oh. 23 years ago, a child in their care went missing. What? The child was six at the time. His name was Uru Somazuki. It was reported extensively, but he still hasn't been found. All the dots. Um.
22 years ago, a child in their care went missing. The child was six at the time, which means the child would have been 29. The reason I stop is because I have written down that Tokugo gave birth 20 years ago. It's possible that Tokugo gave birth It's possible that maybe Tokugo gave birth um, 17 years ago. No, it would have been what 14 years ago. Either way, could could this could this child be uh, Tokiko's boy? I don't know. I, I don't know. That that's just hit me all of a sudden. But anyway, my name is Paul Isbur. This is your story based gaming channel, and this is our blind let's play. Hi, the so many files Nirvana initiative, the sequel. Uh, before we head out though, we should probably go to the bonus menu uh, to see about the outfits that we unlocked. Show me too. So it looks like the outfits we unlock. Show me too. Hurry and check it out. Come on. Oh, that's awesome picture. Instead of a uh, Chikara, it's a uh, Tama. I think that's great. That looks like something from uh, the Zero Escape series. Yeah, it does. Good choice. Wow, that's great artwork right there. Nothing else. Okay, um, I guess I could. I guess I could. All right, fine. I was gonna say we'll we'll check out the costume in the next episode, but. No, 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 I don't want to do that. Why did, why did it go down a new game? I don't want to go down a new game. Uh, let's, let's just quickly load. And we'll, we'll, we'll skip the, uh, what's happened so far since we'll see it again in the next part. Uh, I want to check out, I want to check out the costumes before we go. Just to see what they're like. Uh, okay. I was about to say, the dad just disappeared. He's nowhere to be found, but he's over here. Okay, that 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 legit scared me there. Ah, all right, let's go to Thomas' room. And uh, we'll try out some of these costumes. Take your time. I'll be jump. Uh, costume now available. It's fine. Got some new outfits. So we got Yuki's clothes. Hmm, pants aren't bad either. Actually looks pretty mm, pants aren't bad either. Pretty awesome in that picture. Welcome home, Sea King. How about we make out? Okay, that's that's a little disturbing. <laughs> that's very disturbing. Not a little disturbing, very disturbing. Um, so we don't have any of the outfits. Meow meow. <laughs> yeah, looks Good. I need to buy the expansion, uh, like the $4 uh, dress up just to get their voices for different costumes. Purr, purr. Because apparently they put a lot of time in this. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like though uh, we can view the Mizuki outfit until we're Mizuki. But anyway, uh, I love you guys so very much. Thank for everything. And until next time, so long and take care. Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to comment on what you saw and what you would like to see next. I always love to hear your thoughts. Please be sure to like and subscribe for more. Also, please do not forget, you matter. You are brilliant and you are loved. And you should always remember to be true to yourself. Don't let the world tell you any different. Much love to you from your friendly feathered flightless bird. Till next time.